Pardon my Russian, um, Subaka is through Batili Tankov, or Dog Tank Destroyers, were either the best or the worst idea conceived by the Russians in World War II. These dog mines were dogs strapped with explosives trained to seek out military targets, mainly tanks. They attempted to use a timer system, where the dogs would drop the bombs and haul ass. This was a little too inconvenient, so what did the Soviets do? Suicide puppies. What a bunch of sick b To be fair, the majority of the dogs were used for more practical things like rescue and mine sniffing. The Soviets didn't really have any dog trainers, so they recruited hunters, police dogs, and... circus trainers. Don't ask me why. Animal cruelty aside, this seems like a very practical idea. Well, other than the fact that it didn't quite go as planned, in order to save fuel and munitions in a time of war, the dogs have been trained on tanks that were not firing and standing still. These dog mines refused to dive under any moving tanks, they just weren't used to it. Dogs weren't able to handle more than one target, and if the target changed too often, the dog would return to its handler with the bomb still active and killing them both. The second attempt at dog mines, the Soviets would starve dogs and leave their food under a tank. They gradually worked up the stress level by starting with an idle tank, then a tank with a engine on, and then a tank firing in flat rounds. This second attempt was not much more successful. Out of the first wave of 30, only four dogs detonated anywhere near a German tank, don't even know how damaged they were, six exploded in Soviet trenches, killing Allied soldiers, and three were shot by Germans and taken away so they study the detonation mechanism. But it is just the beginning of bad luck. The Soviets trained the dogs using their own tanks, because, after all, it was all they had at the time. When they were deployed, the dogs sought out the familiar smell of Soviet tanks, the ones that stood over their food bowls in training. Not only did they not take out the Germans, they killed their own tanks. Karma for murdering man's best friend? Probably. That was the end of the dog mine program for the Soviets. However, this failure of an idea was used by equally idiotic countries. The Japanese army tried this concept, but instead of strapping bombs directly on the dog, they had to pull carts of explosives. No surprise here, but the doggy wagon was also a failure. Not because their training backfired, but because they barely had any training to speak of. The Americans tried to use the same design as the Soviets, with a timed bomb strap to dogs, but the project was scrapped for obvious reasons. No one even dared attempt this farce of a strategy again. Well, until 2007, that is. During the Iraq War, insurgents used a canine time bomb strategy, with the predictable results of a complete and utter failure. People protested this because in Islam, you're not allowed to kill animals for any reason other than food, and I'm pretty sure strapping a bomb to a dog to kill people has nothing to do with food. In Iraq, they used donkeys strapped with explosives because, get this, they were more reliable and inconspicuous. Now, animals have been used in war since war was a thing, and it only took one terrible Soviet idea to fuck it all up. If only there had been PETA back then to call off the project, or maybe one person with any common sense to realize that strapping bombs to a dog is never the answer to anything. Except for how to kill dogs in overly complicated ways. Then do something dumb before you die.